I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here's your latest weather on demand forecast. Well, once again, so you can pretty much carbon copy Sunday over to Saturday as we had the same lake effect snow event take place, only a little bit lighter snow totals, only generally one to three across Marquette and Alger, and generally two to four in the Keweenaw Peninsula. But elsewhere, we started to clear things out later on in the afternoon. And as of now, a lot of clear skies out there, but still some stubborn, persistent bands hanging around Alger County just to, uh, on M28 towards Munising, and actually with one band right going through Munising now, but generally light snow is the trend. Looking back farther west, and we are in for another clipper system. This one, though, very strong, and it will certainly pack a punch. It's snowing just to the uh, west of Winnipeg, and also going to bring with it much colder Arctic air straight from the North Pole. Santa is early delivery present for us. That's why we have winter storm watches for Marquette and Alger counties, mainly because it's going to be lake effect snow or lake enhancement. And some of these totals could be really impressive, once again surpassing the half a foot mark, even close to the one foot mark for some spots. Here are your early week headlines. Bitterly cold temperatures are arriving beginning Monday night and really staying through pretty much early Thursday. So for a couple of days here where we will see dangerous wind chills. And then with that said, very heavy snow north at time blinding to drive in and dangerously low visibilities as well. So please be mindful of that over the next couple of days. Today, once again, stuck in the upper teens. 18, did it one more time. Fifth consecutive day now, not reaching 20 degrees. 27 and 13 are the averages. Here are the currents. Mighty cold out there, but this is nothing what we're going to be seeing shortly. 15 from Escanaba, 16 in Manistique, and warmer, of course, in Munising, where they have snow falling. But these wind chills are nothing to fool around with right now. Two above in Marquette, three in Escanaba, and the lowly feels like one degree from Copper Harbor. As far as the other current temperatures, well, r really, heart of the Arctic air over us right now. You have to go at pretty much any other direction to find warmer readings than what we have, except north. We go west, so 18 to Rhinelander and 25 in Green Bay, farther south, 27 in Madison. But looking off to the west as well, we can see temperatures finally moderating at least just a little bit. So plenty of lake snows to go by down by all the Great Lakes, particularly Ontario and also eastern Lake Erie, where Buffalo is getting smacked with a lot of lake effect. Elsewhere, clear skies for much of the country now that the major storm system has pulled out. Very cold air moving in courtesy of this polar front. And we will certainly feel these temps. Current readings, minus 5 from Pickle Lake. And it was minus 9 air temperature in Capus Casing. And there's minus 6 in uh, Musini. That is in Ontario. So here are your future view temperatures where it will get mighty cold. Here's overnight tonight, or rather on Monday night. That's when the Arctic air starts to spill in from the west. 17 degrees in Lons. And then it gets bitterly cold on Tuesday morning. And from here, we do not rise. Our morning highs will be similar Rather, morning lows will be similar to the afternoon highs, which will be some places not getting out of the single digits for the day on Tuesday. So your forecast for Monday calls for heavier PM snow, especially across the north. Here is your temperature range, 23 to 26, modest and pretty seasonal for this time of, of the year. One to two inches across the south. Nothing too uh, shabby out that way, but as far as the snow, heavy lake effect Monday and Tuesday, we could see totals of 6 to 12 inches, especially in that sweet spot just east of Marquette all the way to Munising. We could see 8 to 12 inches fall along M28 in that region. Coldest days, Tuesday, Wednesday, barely reaching 10 degrees in cities across the west. And then the clipper number two drops down on Thursday, not as strong, so just very light snow on Thursday, but moderating temperatures into next weekend.